which is somewhere I would really, really like to go. Amelia Nicholson uh, is from the Brisley Bell, and they have just won what is described as the Great British Pub of the Year Awards, the Oscars, indeed, uh, of the pub business. Um, and I'm going to say hello right now. Amelia, very good afternoon to you. Hello, Mike. And congratulations for being the greatest pub in Britain. That's quite an accolade, isn't it? It's a huge accolade, mm. huge. And uh, it's amazing. We're truly honoured and delighted to be flying the flag for Norfolk as yes, well. Yes, because, I mean, it has been a tough old time, hasn't it? I mean, I'm a great supporter of, of hospitality in general, as you can probably see by looking at me. Uh, I like to spend a great deal of my time in restaurants and pubs and, and various other hostelries of ill repute. And your place Excellent. looks amazing. I've been having a peek at the uh, the website. It looks fantastic. It looks like everything a British pub should be. You know, if you were, if you were describing it, you know, to an American and putting it in, you know, for weddings at a funeral, this would be it. Wow. Thank you. Well, I mean, I'm very impressed. Seriously, though, I mean, I, I'm looking. I see that you've got outdoor facilities, which are described as you have secret uh, tables. You've got uh, bits that are in the wild. You've got what looks like a tree growing in a conservatory. I mean, it's incredible. Oh uh, well, yeah. I mean, we were when we bought the pub, it was derelict, and um, we had a huge amount of scope um, and a, a guard. Well, there was no garden. There was a, a nearly a two-acre field, right. and. Uh, we, it, we we had a wonderful um, cam, blank canvas. Right. So you decided to buy into a pub for the first time, or was it was this one of those kind of, you know, let's get out of London and do something different kind of decisions? Well, no, no, we're both Norfolk. Um, we, yeah, and uh, we used to drink here a long time ago, um, and then sadly um, for the previous sort of um, 15, 20 years, the pub had slightly gone into decline and right. then closed. Okay. Uh, we were living locally, and we were looking for a project, and that happened to be a pub. Okay, so, so what were you doing before this, if you don't mind me asking? No, not at all. Um, so Marcus, my partner, who unfortunately can't be here today, um, he was uh, at Agricultural College and uh, was going to be farming. And okay. then he ended up um, uh, running up, uh, setting up a startup company with a friend of his in, in Norwich and went into business. And I was working in theatre for about 14 years okay. and then um, started dabbling in antiques. Nice. So, I mean, it's quite hard work, though, isn't it? I mean, it's one of those things that you see that people say, oh, we'd love to run a pub or a hotel or a and b or something like that. But it might, it's, it's hard work, isn't it? It's hard work. It is hard work. Um, but it's incredibly rewarding. Mm. Um, you know, there's, like I said, I was working in theatre, and which is a very vocational uh, role or job and um, or industry, and, uh, and and it's very much like that. It's like running a show every mm, day, right. and um, it's very much like you know we have a fantastic team of staff here, and uh, uh, the the reward is actually working with some really great people, yeah. and uh, and and every day the new challenges that arise, and and you know this morning I've been up on a roof trying to trying to get rid of all the <laughs> torrential rain that yes well i mean talk about challenges i mean last year must have been an absolute nightmare how did you cope with with the lockdown well, you know, uh, like everyone else in the industry, it was it was pretty dire. Um, we were very fortunate. Uh, our local council were incredibly supportive, and um, our customers and local community have also returned, um, you know, very quickly, which really, really was fantastic for us yeah. because. You know, we're, we're we're reliant on that support, and and we just want to give that you know our thanks back. But it, it it it's not been a good year, you know. But like everyone else, we're we're uh, we're short on chefs. If anyone's looking for a job, <laughs> <laughs> well, do you know, it's amazing. Everybody's short on everything. I was talking to somebody in London the other day who's who's in the sort of you know PR business, and they were like, "We're paying stupid money to people now because literally you can't get anybody to do anything." And it's not simple. It's not just hospitality. Not just no. you know delivery drivers. It's everything. It is everything. It is everything, and and actually, you know, the it, like I said, it's not just the chefs, like you say. You know, it's the suppliers, and it's not it's it's not their it's not their fault. They're they're then struggling to get people to deliver yeah. stuff to them. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's how's the how's the beer supply? Because uh, we we do a, a feature here called Shortage of the Day, uh, which is based around the fact that people are just trying to frighten you that things are going to run out when they're not actually going to run out. But have you got plenty of beer there? We've got plenty of beer. Excellent. That's <laughs> what I like to hear. And what is the local brew? What's the local sort of uh, Norfolk brew then? Well, so the I suppose we, well we actually uh, we 
we uh, sell a lot of uh, different Norfolk ales or, or you know, um, have some guest sales. Um, a big one in Norfolk, just generally around Norfolk, is Woodford's Wherry. Um, we've got a fantastic brewery down the road, or got a couple of fantastic breweries down the road that we, we also have, Barsham's um, Brewery and also Duration, mm. and they're all very popular. That's good. And there's an awful lot of sort of small micro distilleries growing up around the place as well. Have you got some of them? Like, I mean, I went into a pub yesterday to get gin and tonic, right? Um, and we had to spend about five minutes going through the numbers of different gins and different tonics that they had. I ended up getting one with some chili flakes in it um, with a very nice fever tree lime um, uh, tonic water. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So we've, <laughs> You we've see, got... I take this quite seriously. <laughs> we've got... We... <laughs> We've got we've got um, uh, a good a good uh, amount of gins and and I think we've got three or four local gins you know from Norfolk and okay. uh, we've got some English whiskey which is also from Ooh. down the road. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Um, and what about so, yeah. in the in the absence of, of of needing a chef? What's your sort of signature dish there? What have you? What's your what's your favourite item on the menu? Oh wow. Um, so our menu is is uh, changes with the seasons. It's very it's very much about what fresh produce comes in. So it'll it'll be different at different times of year. Certainly, in um, in the past, you know, we've had a fantastic uh, liver. Calves liver has been hugely popular. We are a meat led pub, although we do cater um, for for all. But um, uh, I'm just I'm just looking at your menu now, actually, and I quite like I quite fancy the look of Swannington ham, fried eggs, and chips. That looks rather good. Fantastic, and Swannington's just down the road. There you go. So brilliant. I mean, it's fantastic. Do you get what do you get? Do you get a, a, a award that you can stick up behind the bar or something? We've got we've got an award that yeah yeah no we can stick up. It's actually standing. Well, you, should on the be, you should be waving it at me. Shouldn't you be sort of <laughs> showing it off? I'm sorry. <laughs> We're showing it off downstairs. Okay. It's on the piano as we speak, so people can see it as they walk past. Very good. Brilliant. And what's the, I mean, forgive my, my knowledge of the East Anglian region of this country is not particularly good. So are you just near Norwich then? We are pretty much. So uh, I think it's Dereham Tesco's car park is the centre of Norwich, uh, centre of Norfolk. Okay. And we are about five miles from there. Okay, cool. Well, if I'm ever in that neck of the woods, I'm definitely going to pay you a visit because you've got rooms as well, right? Come and visit, absolutely, yeah. So we've got six rooms. Nice. Um, and uh, it, what, what's lovely about that is that we've got, um, we have some lovely guests that come from all over the country uh, to come and stay, but we've also, it, it very much works with our mix of local and the community, and, um, you know, we have a nice balance, which mm. is great. Lovely. Well, congratulations again, and uh, have a, hopefully you have a great uh, run-up to Christmas, and uh, everything will remain as it is now, and nobody's going to start trying to mess about with the opening hours and all that sort of thing no thank you no, no. absolutely great thank well nice to talk to you Amelia thank you very much indeed Amelia Nicholson there owner of the Brisley Bell uh, the pub that has just been named the UK pub of the year so if you're anywhere near Norwich go and pay them a visit it looks a great place it really does I have to say you can stay there you can eat there you can drink there what more could you want it's not that far from Alan Brazil either so you want to get there before he does, because obviously then <laughs> there'll be plenty for everyone. This is talk radio, 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 plenty for everyone. <laughs>